honorary college dean turned career executive coach. Tell me a little bit about your journey as a college dean, including what did you teach? Yeah, well, um, to make a really long story short, I was working in higher education administration for about 16 years and I worked at some really great schools uh, and got some really cool and amazing opportunities. But kind of felt that pull to like want to do something a little bit different to help and serve in different ways and different capacities. So I ended up launching um, essentially my first business, my first like real business, right? And uh, doing a little bit of a combination of like coaching and then consulting. Um, so helping with like career placement stuff um, and like people sort of building their personal brand kind of a thing. Right here. So I have the King of Wands and of course it is reminding of you. Um, just this gentleman, dark hair, is sitting on this throne. But here's what the card says. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. So, so tell me about that moment when you had that conversation with someone that said, you really are going to release your college dream college dean job and become a coach yeah. Talk about that moment i i will um so I, i'll never forget this because it was actually like a, a really good friend of mine i think somebody mm -hmm. has like my ventures into a heart um but his exact words were are you crazy like mm -hmm. like are you like are you out of your mind what you're doing you've worked so long and for so hard to get here and you've pushed and you've like done these different things I've watched you grow, I've watched you struggle, and you're like, you're in this highest leverage position. Um, I was here is the four of coins, and it's this woman that's giving over money in exchange for something else. But the phrase that is standing out here, it says, smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white, being charitable. Tell me, how does that relate to your to your coaching business yeah can you say that again that's really interesting so yeah. see i think to the i think the statement that really rings true to me there is being charitable right of like of giving and adding more value than than you take away um and just as like a quick example but there was this um this woman i'd work uh that i'm working with right now had reached out to me mm -hmm. um and was like was in the similar field that i was in and was trying to transition out and do different things and she um she actually gave me like was willing to pay up front and buy this yes. like this service that i had and i was like okay great like this is amazing but i had actually sort of said you know what like let me try this new thing that i'm working on because i think this will be a better fit for you and i'm not going to charge you um so I, like it was a essentially i've got like this five sessions so um this message is for you and then for um a viewer as well um what's starting out here is like i said the the woman giving the money something for an exchange and so the the statement of the word that's kind of coming through from the team is just saying when you're doing the smart business decisions and you're running those things businesses are are black and white they're encouraging you that yes, you can be charitable, but continue to have the confidence and belief that what you're doing is valuable in exchange to receive money. Don't go in the red Yeah. in your business, exploring new things and doing those different options. You can still say, hey, if you want to give a donation, mm -hmm. does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, 